Hallelujah. I'm Elder Cosme Sims. I'm me and Mama Felicia Boki Sims. And we have Jesus, Jesus Reigns Restoration Ministry. Ministry. Amen. 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 Jesus is the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We're, this is part two of our lesson. I am persuaded. I am persuaded. And we're going to go to, we're going to start our lesson. Hallelujah. Continue our lesson in uh, the book of Mark. Tendelea katika kitabu cha Marko Mark 3 and 1 moja. Through verses 6 Baka sita. Let me begin And he entered Hallelujah Jesus healed uh, Interpret this Jesus healed Yesu aponya, A withered hand Mkono liye kome ume pooza On the Sabbath Siku ya sabato Hallelujah Hallelujah Mark 3 and 1 and he entered again into the synagogue, and there was a man which had a withered hand. And they watched him, whether he would heal him on the Sabbath day, that they might accuse him. Read those two. Uh, Marko tatu moja. Haka ingia tena katika sinagogi, na paliku wako huko mtu mwenye mkono uliopoza. Wakamvizia ili kuona kama atamponya siku ya sabato wapate kumshitaki. Verse 3 and he said unto the man which had the withered hand stand forth. And he said unto them is it lawful to do good on the sabbath day or to do evil to save life or to kill but they held their peace. Read those two things. Aka muambia yule mtu mwenye mkono uliopooza simama katikati akawauliza ni halali siku ya sabato kutenda mema au kutenda mabaya kuponya roho au kuiua wakanyamaza should i read five no. okay the jesus being in the synagogue this man with a withered hand he told him to come forth mm -hmm. And then we say that in Swahili, please. And in the process, he asked the question in verse 4. Because he knew what the law said in reference to working on the Sabbath day. And, no, and knew that in their heart, they were, hallelujah, they were looking for anything to accuse him of. But here is the wisdom of God. Amen. Because nobody can do anything against the truth or for the truth. Amen. Amen. And Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. Amen. Amen. And he said, is it lawful to do good on a Sabbath day or to do evil? He asked a question. Another question, to save life or to kill. They held their peace and they ended up in the And this is what, hallelujah, the word of God say. Read, read number five, please. Only. Number ten. Read number five on. Okay, number ten. Thank you, Jesus. Aka wakazi ya macho, pande zote kwa hasira. Aka akiona huzuni kwa ajili ya ugumu wa mioyo yao. Aka muambia yuko mtu, nyosha mkono wako. Nae, aka unyosha mkono wake ukawa mzima tena. And when he, the Lord, when he had looked round about on them, with anger, mm -hmm. being grieved for the hardness of their hearts. Yes. He said unto the man, Scratch forth thy hand. Mm -hmm. And he scratched it out, and his hand was restored whole as the other. Mm -hmm. The Lord is upset in, when it comes down to the work of the ministry. Yes, we serve God 24-7 Each and every day Each and every hour Each and every second Amen 
but here on the Sabbath day where they were saying no one should work hey the Lord said greater works you shall do and here a word of Paul Paul said follow me as I follow Christ he gave us hallelujah power to heal the sick cast out devils hallelujah and if you really prayed and fast up there you can raise the dead in the name of Jesus amen, amen. young man uh, Jesus, uh, Paul was long preaching and a young man fell off the loft hallelujah sleep and they, they took him up dead but Paul went down laid hands on him and brought life back to him Unaona wakati Paulo alikuwa anatoa huduma akiutubia mahali kuna mtu alianguka bahati mbaya kutoka sehemu ya juu yule mtu akafariki The disciples that God sent two by two hallelujah they came back rejoicing and said even the devils were subject to us even in your name amen Unaona wafuasi wa Yesu walikuwa wanaenda wanatuma wawili wawili wanarudi wana furaha kwamba hata pepo wanawatii kwa jina la Yesu The demons they have to yield to our command Mapepo inabidi ya ti kwa jina la Yesu. Praise the Lord. Praise hallelujah. 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 Here, he asks is it lawful to do good or to do evil on, on a Sabbath day to to save life or to kill. How they held their peace. Hallelujah. I'm going to read 6 and now I'll let you read 6. Hallelujah. But the man, he told the man to stretch forth his hand and when the man stretched forth his hand, it was normal. Say that please. Yaani akamwambia yule mtu anyoshe mkono na yule mkono ukao umeponywa. Read six please. Sita. Mara wakatoka wale mafarisayo wakawa wakifanya shauri juu yake pamoja na maherodi jinsi ya kumwangamiza. And the Pharisees went forth and straightway took counsel. They, they got together with the the talk about. Mhm. Wakusanyika kuzungumzia swala lile. With the uh, Herodians. Na wa Herode. Uh, Herodians against him how they might destroy him mm -hmm. amen you're doing a good work for the lord you, 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 you healing people you're going out you're counseling people you're comforting the feeble minded you give him from your bosom and here come the devil that ain't lawful that ain't the right thing to do God ain't pleased with that but God has given an example here see they held their peace why because they did not want to speak against what was being done to the, the, the man that was crippled and they had no answers for the miracles that was done Hallelujah in the name of the Lord. And they cannot they could not buck his authority as being God and being the man of God that he is. They were more afraid of the, the people than they was of the Lord. Praise God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And they straightway took counsel. People would take counsel on you. For the good works that you're doing for the Lord, but you be encouraged. Amen. And continue to believe in whom you are persuaded. And I am persuaded, hallelujah, that the, the Lord will fight my battles. I am persuaded that the Lord will make a way somehow. Matthew Matthew 12 11 and verse 12 it says uh, chapter 11 verse and 12 through the 12 read those two please kondo asiye mshika akamupoa Je, mtu ni bora kuliko kondoo mara ngapi? Basi ni halali kutenda mema siku ya sabato. And he said unto them, what shall there be um, uh, what man shall there be among you mm -hmm. that shall have one sheep and if it fall into a pit on the Sabbath day will he not lay hands or lay hold on it mm -hmm. and lift it out? Mm -hmm. 
how much then is a man better than a sheep? Mm -hmm. Wherefore, it is lawful to do well on the Sabbath day. Mm -hmm. Jesus is saying it is lawful to do good on the Sabbath day. His priests the men of God the Pharisee would, would allow someone to pull an animal out of a hole but when it comes down to healing when it comes down to delivering God's people on the Sabbath day they want to give you a death sentence and the Lord said how much better is a, is a, is a man how much is it better than a, a man than a sheep? Amen. Mm -hmm. Wherefore it is lawful, it is right, it is good to to work to to work on a Sabbath day, to do well Even on the Sabbath day. Amen. Amen. Martha, oh Lord, Mary won't help me in the kitchen. Martha, Martha, Martha. 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 You, you too, you too worked up. You too cumbling over this situation. Mm -hmm. She chose. Mary has chose the better, the the to do well. Hallelujah! On the Sabbath, she chose the better. Amen. That was ministry. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And it says, Hallelujah. Uh, uh, let's go to Luke twenty-four. Luca. 24 verse 1 we're going to read verse 1 through verse 9 Hallelujah. and we talk about wh why we worship on the first day of the week Amen. what's the reason why it's a spiritual thing remember the word of God is by example that we live by Amen. Amen. let me give an example uh, Abraham he bought a parcel of land to bury his people Ibrahimu alinunua ardhi eh, kwa ajili ya kuzika watu wake. Jesus himself was buried 3 days and 3 nights in the ground as the son of man was buried 3 days and 3 nights in the uh, as, no correction as Jonah was in the whale's belly. Jesus wako yo Jonah alikuwa kwenye tumbo three la ile samaki. 3 days in the whale's belly. Siku tatu. So shall the son of man be 3 nights and 3 days in the earth. Amen. Ndivyo mwana wa Adamu alikufa siku tatu. And he and shall rise. Hallelujah. Na akafufuka siku tatu katika ardhi. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And so it's by example. Ni Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Pray with him in baptism that we may rise in the newness of life. Amezikwa naye katika ubatizo ili aweze kufufuka katika upya wa uhai. Hallelujah. Read verse 1 and 2, please. Mstari wa 1 na 2, Luka 24. Hata siku ya kwanza ya Juma ilipoanza kupambazuka, walikwenda kaburini wakialeta makutano walioweka tayari. Waka likuta lile jiwe limeviringishwa mbali na kaburi that's it One thank you Jesus why we worship on the first day of the week for example now upon the first day of the week early very early in the morning they came unto the sepulchre bringing the spices which they had prepared and certain hallelujah others with them mm -hmm. and they found the stone rolled away from the sepulchre hallelujah on the first day of the week mm -hmm. hallelujah where Jesus, the time that Jesus had rose from the day amen after he was crucified hallelujah read uh, 3 and 4 please wakaingia wasiuone mwili wabwana yesu Ikawa walipokuwa wakifadhaika kwa ajili ya neno hilo tazama watu wawili walisimama karibu nao wamevaa nguo za kumetameta and they entered in and found nobody of the, and they found not the body of the Lord Jesus and it came to pass as they were much perplexed confused mm -hmm. thereby Behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. Read five and six, please. Tano na sita. Nao, walipo ingiwa na hofu, na kuinama kifudifudi, 
hata nchi hao waliwaambia kwa nini mnatafuta aliye hai katika wafu Uh, yes. Hayupo hapa amefufuka kumbukeni alivyosema nanyi alipokuwa aliko Galilaya And as they were afraid and bowed down their faces to the earth they said unto them Why seeketh ye the living among the dead he is not here but he is risen Remember how he spoke unto you when he was yet in Galilee read 7 and 8 please Saba na nane akisema imempasa mwana wa Adamu kutiwa mikononi mwa wenye dhambi na kusulubiwa na kufuka siku ya tatu wakayakumbuka maneno yake saying the son of man must be delivered into the hands of sinful men and be crucified and the third day rise again and they remember his words 9 verse 9 please read that tisa wakaondoka kaburini wakarudi wakawaarifu wale kumi na mmoja na wengine wote habari za mambo hayo yote and we re- return from the sepulchre su- and told all these things unto the eleven and to all the rest amen they went amen. back and told the apostles told mm-hmm. told the disciples yes. the apostles mm-hmm. and, and what had occurred mm-hmm. amen and um uh, and here it is the the two angels that was in there they said why come see why look for for the lord he is risen mm-hmm. why why seek the living among the dead amen amen and we have during that time uh the people commem- commemorate uh Uh, Easter, Hallelujah. Wakati ule watu walikuwa wakisherekea Pasaka. Amen. The, 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 during that time of the Passover. Wakati wa pas- Pasaka. Amen. It, it, we 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 commemorate some churches they have all watch night. They Wakani stay up all night. And 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 pray and and, and words of exhortation. And, and, and during the week they may have the last seven words and so forth. Why we do it? We do it as an example of the Bible. Even even Holy Communion. Hata communion takatifu. His broken body and shed blood. Mwili na damu. Amen. The, uh I, we do it uh, uh why because God said as often as you partake of my broken body and my shed blood do it in remembrance of me. Bwana amesema jinsi mnavyoshiriki mwili wangu mwili wangu na damu yangu fanyeni hivyo kwa kunikumbuka mimi. It's done by example. Inafanyika kama mfano kama kielelezo. The Lord took a towel and he and he put it on his shoulder and he washed the disciples feet. He said do you understand what I do to you? Bwana alichukua ile taulo akaweka begani akawauliza je mmeelewa nilichowatendea He said he said this I do as an example Akasema nafanya hivi kama mfano kama kielelezo I your lord wash your feet you ought to wash one another's feet Kama mimi bwana wenu ninawaosha miko miguu nanyi mnapasa muoshane miguu wenyewe kwa wenyewe A lot of Christians feel as though that's not necessary Wakristo wengi wanaona kama hiyo haina sababu A lot of Christians hallelujah that were pers- persuaded that is necessary but the Lord your Lord and Savior said do it Wengi wanasema haina haja lakini Bwana alishasema tufanye hivyo Amen Amen Praise the Lord Bwana Yesu asifiwe And he say as often as you eat of my broken body and shed blood do it in remembrance of me why is it so many Christian so many pastors are not persuaded to the point that they remember the word often. Je, yeah, ni kwa nini watumishi wa Mungu wengi hawashawishiki wakakumbuka ilo neno la Mungu tulilo la, la komunio kwa mfano kukumbuka mara kwa mara. I know that some have maybe once or twice a year, maybe once. Kuna wengine wanafanya mara moja kwa mwaka au mara moja kwa mara mbili kwa mwaka. And then is, then is some they don't have it at all. Na wengine hawashiriki kabisa. But then there are some that are faithful, they may have it every week or every month. Kuna wengine wako waminifu wanashiriki hivyo kila wiki au kila mwezi. The one don't qualify as it with the word as often. Mara moja haikuwalify kusema ni mara kwa mara. Amen. 
Amen. It's got to be more than one. Praise God. So by example, the word of God is by example. Sodom and Gomorrah was destroyed by example. According to the scriptures. Praise God. Hallelujah. So we come on the what happened? On the first day of the week. Amen. Early in the morning. We go early in the morning on a Sunday to worship God. To come together, hallelujah, as a congregation. Amen. Shouldn't be judged in that. Acts 20 and 7, please. Matendo mitume shirini saba. Hata siku ya kwanza ya juma. Tulipo kuwa tumekutana ili kumega mkate. Paulo akawa hutubu. Aka, akiazimu kusafiri siku ya pili yake. Nae akafuliza maneno yake hata usiku wa manane. Amen. And when he had therefore was come up again and had broken bread and eaten and taken a long while even till the break of dawn hallelujah so he departed hallelujah I, I read 11 but before that mm -hmm. that goes in conjunction with that scripture is verse 7 and verse 7 is and upon the first day of the week yes. praise God mm -hmm. we talk about Paul and preaching with to the saints taking a day to preach but he came on the first day of the week <inaudible> the apostle came on the first day of the week when the disciples came together to break bread, Paul preached unto them, uh, ready to depart in the morning and continue his speech until night, midnight. Amen. Amen. You, that's the one you read. Yes. Read 11, please. Kuminamoja, inasema hivi. Thank you, Jesus. Akapanda yu tena, akamega mkate, akala, Akazidi kuongea nao hata alfajiri ndipo akaenda zake. Paul hallelujah he did continue preaching even to the break of dawn. I mean mm -hmm. it was early morning when the sun Kasi came up. But so many of us are so quick to before they even uh, to, to watch the clock and when you come into the house of God you had already got plans of what you're going to do on the evening mm -hmm. and you putting a you putting a, a limit on God. Yeah, you putting mm -hmm. time on God. Yaani ukija kwenye nyumba ya Mungu, tayari una mipango yako mingi Jumapili, unaanza kumwekea muda Mungu kwamba eh hey, hii sichelewe. We around the throne of God and cry holy, holy, holy. Wakati katika kiti cha enzi cha cha Mungu wanaita takatifu, mtakatifu, mtakatifu. The angels and the beasts are before the throne and they worshiping God. Yaani vile viumbe na malaika wanaabudu usiku na mchana. Non stop. Bila kupumzika. Amen. Amen. Don't limit God because if you limit God, you limit yourself. Usimweke Mungu mipaka. You limit your Mungu blessing. mipaka. Unaweka mipaka kwa baraka zako. Amen. I'm persuaded Amen. that what I'm saying is true. Nina shaushika kabisa kwa I have scripture the back of what I'm saying is true. Hadithi. Hebrews 10 and 25 please. I'll, I'll read first. Not to forsake this assembling of yourselves together as the manner of some is exhorting one another and so much the more as you see the day approaching amen amen read that please wala tusiache kukusanyika pamoja kama ilivyo desturi ya wengine bali tuonyane na kuzidi kufanya hivyo kwa kuzidi kwa kadri mwonavyo Siku ile kuwa inakaribia. Amen. Not to forsake, not 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 to stop coming together as a congregation. Tusiache kuja pamoja. As a people. Kama watu wa To worship God. Kumwabudu Bwana. The first day of the week is the only day that we come together to have service. Siku ya kwanza ya wiki sio siku pekee yake tunao kusanyika kwa ajili ya ibada. So pastors are implemented Bible study as well during the week. Kuna wachungaji wengi wanafanya Bible study katikati ya wiki. Some have implemented uh, maybe uh, one day during the week also as a separate service. Kuna watu wengine wanaibada katikati ya wiki. Most of the time it was like here with, with me the way I was it was a Friday service. 
kama vile yeye alivyokuzwa ni Ijumaa on Tuesday and Wednesday might have been Bible study. Jumanne na Jumatano huwa ni Bible study. Amen. They yeah. may be in a fellowship with another church during the week as well. Inawezekana kuwa kuna mwaliko kwenda kanisa lingine katikati ya wiki pia. Amen. Amen. So, uh so it's not just restricted to a Saturday or a Sunday. Kwa hiyo haijafungwa tu kwa ajili ya Jumamosi au Jumapili. But because of the examples that I'm giving, this is why we worship the Lord, a lot of us Christians worship on a Sunday on the first day of the week. Ndio maana wakristo wengi wanaabudu Jumapili. Concerning the collection of the saints. Kuhusiana na kusanyiko la watakatifu. Read in 1 Corinthians 16 1 through verse 3. Wa Korinto wa kwanza 16 moja. I would like you to read that please. Mm-hmm. Kwa habari ile ya chagizo kwa ajili ya watakatifu kama vile nilivyoamuru makanisa ya Galatia nanyi fanyeni hivyo. That's one. Hallelujah. Let me read that. Mm-hmm. Now concerning the collection for the saints as I have given order to the church of Galatia uh, even so do ye read to please Bili, siku ya kwanza ya juma kila mtu kwenu na aweke akiba kwake kwa kadri ya kufanikiwa kwake ili kwamba michango isifanyike hapo nitakapokuja upon the first day of the week let every one of you lay by him in store as god has prospered him that there be no gathering when I come. Read that please. Uh, that, I've done that. Too. Praise God. That's yes. number two. Yes. All right. So concerning the collection of the saints, what uh, during that time, uh, Hallelujah. Uh, the uh, Church of Jerusalem they had a need, and they informed the man of God that they needed some finances. But at the same time, I'm going to I'm going to show you where God tell you about tithing and tell you about giving free will offering. I'm persuaded that giving to God is right. I'm persuaded that giving to the house of God is right. I believe I persuade I persuaded that God wants us and I know for a fact that God loves a cheerful guilt. Amen. But he said upon the first day of the week, whatever God has given you, whatever God has prospered you, whatever it is that you have, bring it to the house of God. Why why the first day of the week? Because that's the day when the saints came as an initial day of worship. Unto the Lord. As a designated day. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Read number three, please. Number two. Nani, nami, samahani. Nita kapofika, nita watuma, kwanyaraka wale, nita kawa wachagua, wachukue hisani yenu, mpaka Yerusalem. And when I come, whosoever ye shall approved by your letter them will I send to bring your liberality unto Jerusalem again talk about an example of the Jerusalem church having a need having somebody to carry it to them and it was times that even Paul went along with the courier that was carrying those funds unaona kanisa ya Yerusalem walikuwa na hitaji fulani kuna wakati hata Paulo alikuwa akienda akishu whether it's the gifts that we that God has given us in the church or dealing with the finances the, the administrative part of the church God wants us to be faithful He wants us to be good stewards with that in which He's given us Hallelujah I want you to read Malachi 3 and verse 8 and 9 please. Malaki 3, 9 and 9. Ye mwanadamu atamwibia mungu, lakini nini mnaniibia mimi, lakini nini mtarudia. Ye mwanadamu atamwibia atamwibia mungu, lakini nini mwaniibia mimi, lakini nini mwasema 
tumekuibia kwa namna gani mmenibia zaka na rabihu that well, is eight amen i'm reading now please nini melaniwa kwa laana maana mnanibia mimi nam taifa hili lote hallelujah malachi uh, 3 and 8 and 9 it says the lord asks a question will a man rob god yet ye have rob ye have robbed me again he asks a question will a man rob god yet ye have robbed me ye mm. have robbed me mm. you have robbed me mm. because ye say wherein have we robbed thee right. where we robbed you god who mm. take he said in my tithes and my offerings mm. katika zaka na dhabihu where we robbed you yani tumekuibia we have to be careful that we say or oh, you know when we do bring our offering our tithes and our offering that we be precise with offering tithes is what you owe god yani zaka tunadaiwa na bwana amen uh as abraham hallelujah gave and and the saints at that time gave to a temple what they had hallelujah to the man of god hallelujah Come to the house of god by example we give a temple what we make and what we have to the house of god to god that's what we owe god amen, amen. and a free will offering an offering is free will whatever you have sadaka ni kile ambacho ulicho nacho. There is times that you may not have a offer. Kuna wakati unawezekana huwa huna sadaka. There was a time that they would give a wave offering unto the Lord. Kuna wakati walikuwa wa, uh, yani sadaka ya kupunga. With some barley loaf. Inakutumia. We do it with our hands open unto Auna God. Stretch to heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. Giving God a praise. Kumpa Bwana sifa. Amen. Amen. My grandfather Bishop Lee Van Dingle. Babu yangu uh, he had Askofu Lee Van Dingle. He had a a a a saucer full of coins. Alikuwa na kisaani money, kuna money change. in a change in a in in, in a saucer. Mm-hmm. That where if you didn't have any money. Wale ambao hawana sadaka. You can take one of those coins and put it into the ark. Anaweka kwenye sadaka. To give unto the Lord. Kutolea Bwana. Amen. Teach your pastors men women of god mothers fathers teach your children to give to god amen tafadhali watu wa mungu hallelujah hallelujah that's a, that's something that we all should do hicho ni kitu ambacho tunapaswa kufanya wote praise god and read 10 and uh, verse 10 please 10 let any zaka kamili galani ili kiwemo chakula katika nyumba yangu Mkanijaribu kwa njia hiyo asema Bwana wa majeshi mjue kama sitawafungulia madirisha ya mbinguni na kuwamwagieni baraka hata isiwepo nafasi ya kutosha au la So the Lord say you will rob me in your tithes and offering and he say in verse 9 ye are cursed with a curse for ye have robbed me even this whole nation Yes verse 10 but he said bring ye all your tithes into the storehouse that there may be meat in mine house amen and prove me mm-hmm. now here with mm-hmm. saith the lord of hosts amen god said prove him bwana anasema tumhangaie if you give unto the house of god ukitoa katika nyumba ya bwana and you give unto his storehouse that he may give to the poor Yaani unatoa katika nyumba ya Bwana ili umaskini waweze kupata mahitaji. He said if you try me, he said kimjaribu yeye. He said and prove me now. Mm-hmm. He said if I will not open the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that there shall not be room enough to receive it. Amen. Amen. There's a there's a curse if we don't Kuna laana kama tukofanya hivyo provide to the house of God. Sikotoa katika nyumba ya Mungu zaka zetu. When it because me myself and I have God gave it to you. Baada ya Mungu kupatia. God gave it to you and made it made it so that we are able to to give unto him. Ametupatia ili tuweze kumtolea yeye kwanza. But when you had it, when you use it for whatever you want to use it for. Kwa kitu kingine, it become cursed. Inakuwa ni laana. 
But if you try, if you bless God, and you bless His house, Amen. And you bring your tithes and you bring your offering, God said He will open the windows of heaven and pour you a blessing you cannot hold. He said, just try me. Amen. This is the only place I believe that the Lord said to try him. Amen. And just what? I I put, and, and, and why? Why? I put, why? Because I am persuaded that what he's saying, a lot of us have done, and we were blessed. And I know what he's saying is true. And I'm persuaded enough to tell you, don't don't hinder your blessing. Continue to give to God. I want you to read verse 15, uh, Ephesians. Uh, Ephesians 5, 15 through 17, please. Why Ephesians, why Ephesians, why Tano kumina tano, ndasoma katika jina la buwana. Just 15, right? 15, 16, and 17. Kumina tano ba kumina saba. Basi angalieni sana jinsi mnavyoenenda si kama watu wasio na hekima bali kama watu wenye hekima. Mkiukomboa wakati kwa maana zamani hizi ni za uovu. Kwa sababu hiyo msiwe wajinga bali mfahamu ni nini yaliyo mapenzi ya Bwana. Amen. Ephesians 5:15 verse 17 See then that you walk circumspectly not as fools, but as wise, mm-hmm. redeeming the time because the days are evil. Yes. Wherefore, be ye not unwise, mm-hmm. but understanding what the will of the Lord is. Yes. God wants you to get wisdom, get an understanding. You should know what the will of the Lord is. Amen. Amen. As you not, as you seek Him and uh, His Word. And as you walk in the spirit that you don't fulfill the lust of the flesh. Walking as a wise man and not as a fool. Amen. Amen. This concludes part two of our lesson. I am persuaded. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah.